We're going to talk about another NHL story uh, with regards to the possible change of three on three rules uh, in overtime. I, I love three on three. I used to be a fan of the shootout. Uh, it, it, I just think three on three is just way better. Uh, but now we're at a point where GMs have discussed the idea of changing rules to limit teams from doing that loop back that they continually do uh, in the offensive zone and then going back out, then going back in on three on three. Uh, there's potential solutions could be uh, a bit of a, a law with crossing the red line or the blue line. You can't go back out or having a shot clock, which I have mentioned previously before. Uh, just got to say, if we get to a point where we're changing these three on three rules, why do I have a weird feeling that's just going to mess up three on three? Well, you, you say you love three on three. I loved three on three before coaches ruined it by being coaches. Uh, what once, once you know, after a couple of years, once they figured out that possession was everything and transition was everything, everybody got so conservative. And now every time you see a three on three overtime, the first two or three minutes is just the most boring thing you ever saw. And then there's a turnover and then there's some frenetic action that we, that we're longing for. I mean, look, three on three is not hockey. You know, we, we always joke, we always complain about the shootout not being hockey. Well, neither is three on three. That's not how hockey's supposed to be played. It's already a gimmick. It's just a cool gimmick that we all like. So if you're going to make it a gimmick, gimmick it up even worse just to, to goose it a little bit. Let's have a shot clock. Let's have the red line be a firm line that you can't, uh, no backcourt violations, so to speak. Like, let's do whatever you can to get it back to what it was supposed to be, which is psychotically crazy end-to-end -end action. How is three on three and the format of it not hockey? You I don't get? know if I don't I don't know how familiar you are with the sport, but there's usually five skaters and a goalie on each side. Okay, but like we like <laughs> just the power place exists. Teams play with men short for due to penalties and all that. How like often the do you idea see three on three in actual regulation hockey. You don't. The whole point is is that we have seen teams play with fewer than five men. What is this idea that is, it's is not it, hockey all of a sudden? I, look, in fact, when you see that frenetic action, you could argue it's among the best form of the dude, sport we see. I love it. I'm not complaining about it, but I'm saying, you know, we don't the beauty of 3 on 3 hockey is we don't have to worry about the purity of it. We've already ripped that band-aid off by going to 3 on 3 in overtime. So we right. don't have to worry about, you know, it, it's sacred and we can't touch it. We can do whatever we want to it. We can keep adjusting it until it gets better. That's all I'm saying. I want it to get back to what it's supposed to be, which is fan-friendly, player-friendly, goalie-unfriendly hockey. It, it, it's, it's gotten so bad. I mean, it's all about just creating a turnover and scoring in transition now. That's all it's become. The Blackhawks, yeah. under when they had Derek King as coach, he'd put Alex Debrinkit out there with Patrick Kane. He'd have Debrinkit, who's not a center, take the faceoff, basically intentionally losing the faceoff because you had a better chance of scoring with Kane in transition than you did with possession. Like, it's 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 gotten so bad in terms of how difficult it is to to wrestle the puck away from anybody. So let's gimmick it up more and make it more fun. Would you rather a backcourt violation rule or a shot clock in three on three? Por qué no los dos? I mean, why not both? Right? I mean, let's let's do it. Like I like both of those. Re like you know, maybe even make it once you're inside the blue line, you can't leave the zone with possession. Okay. Like, let's really cram it in there. Let's let's get the action going because all we get is these guys circling back and circling back and circling back, waiting for the perfect zone entry, waiting for the perfect cross seam pass. I I want it to be frenetic, like it should be nonstop chaos. And I, I want it at ten minutes too. I think the idea yes. that it's just five minutes, you just and I, I want it continuous. To be honest with you, more than just five or ten minutes. Like you want no whistles. Don't, I mean, you you need whistles when you can get whistles, but like, don't let it get to a point where we have to go to overtime uh, in order for us to see a winner. We should still have a winner. I don't believe in ties, especially in that sport, but I think if you have it until somebody wins, someone's going to eventually score. But if you have those rules in where you have a shot clock, I would probably personally just rather a shot clock, but also at the same time, maybe just like you, why not just have both? Anything to make that part of the game, which... Again, I think when you see both teams going back and forth, that might be the best form of the sport you can get. Yes. And there's a reason why people complain so much about it going straight to a shootout. Like, I, we agree. I know we're yeah, yelling about it, but we agree. And you talk to any player in, in the league, and they'll all tell you the same thing. Yeah, you know, it's tiring, but I'd still rather have 10 minutes of three on three than go to a shootout. Nobody likes the shootout. Nobody. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like the shootout at the start seemed like a good idea. Like the Merrick Malik between the legs is a great moment we'll remember forever. 
but I think it's just because of how OT rules are now, where it has just become it has just become so much of a buzzkill. Yeah, that has played such a huge role in why the shootout has lost its luster. Yeah, and it, it, it's just you know you go to the other sports and the baseball is doing things to speed up their extra innings with the ghost runner on second, which I hate that they call it a ghost runner because there's actually a dude there. But you know, they're, they're, everyone's gimmicking things up, but they're not going to the length that hockey has gone to. You know, you're not seeing a home run derby to decide a game. You're not seeing a field goal kicking. I mean, NFL overtime is the worst thing in the world. Like, they're yes. I, I don't know why they don't just adopt the college model, which is the best. Yes. Overtime. College yes. o- college football overtime is better than NHL overtime, and I love NHL overtime. But you put them in the NFL, fine. Put them at the forty yard line instead of the twenty five, and just go from there. But this is what we're doing now because we don't want ties. We don't want games decided by you know stationary things like 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 a, like a shootout. You want it decided by something that at least resembles the sport. And three on three hockey, while not hockey, at least resembles the sport of hockey. Uh, we're getting in some uh, a YouTube comment here. Gosh, I also want 10 minutes, but Gary Bittman, of all people, had a good reason why it can't be 10 minutes. They would have to bring the Zamboni back. Oh, out. just skating the crappy ice like everyone else in the world does, you prima donnas. Oh, no. The Zamboni driver has to work overtime? <laughs> oh, is that no. what it is? There's, there's, not enough eight, there's not enough hockey-related revenue to, to pay the Zamboni driver for another cut. Oh, no. How is he going to feed his family doing these extra shifts and... <laughs> in overtime like <laughs> give me a break just play give just do another dry break. scrape and let them play 